Looks like I'm in luck. Let's have ourselves a little chat. Introductions are in order. Your Bart, I presume. No, uh, why do you ask? No, then you must be Andy. Nope, wrong again. Then stop wasting my time and tell me who you were. A competitor, apparently. Uh -huh. So you're after Bart too? I am. Huh? She must be really Jones, and for what Bert stole, she's hiring any old Tom, Dick, or Hardy. I didn't realize this was a horse race either. Normally, situations like this piss me off. But if Moyer hired us both, it means we're on the same side and can share intel. So, did you dig up anything on Bert? There's something. Does the name Steve ring any bells for you? Steve? Yeah. Slippery Steve. Slime bucket. What's he got to do with this? Well, he left what looks like his calling card. Uh, he'll be in the canteen, but he'll see me coming a mile away and try to sneak out. Since you don't know each other, you can walk right up to him. Hmm, good idea. Let's play it this way. You intercept Steve at the canteen, and me and me boys are wired outside. Make sure he doesn't try and give you the slip. Sounds solid. Keep us in your back pocket, but if he gets cagey, then tell him we're outside waiting. So we can talk to you, or come out and talk to us. And <laughs> we're more likely to be talking with our fists. I'll do that. So, this card belonged to you? <laughs> well, it sure does. Where'd you find it? How may I serve you? Well, you can serve me by telling me what you know of Bart and Andy. Never heard of them. Even if I had, I take client confidentiality very seriously. And I take finding them very seriously. How seriously? Stop fucking with me. You want something for the info? Say it. Wasn't asking for charity. Uh, well, that changes everything. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what you need to know. Uh, but? But you gotta do something for me in return. First. Yeah, like what? Like? Oh, I don't know. Oh, give me a sec. <laughs> I want to come up with something good. If you're just gonna waste my time, I... Uh, hold up, hold up. <sighs> okay. Almost got it. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. I know what you need to do. <laughs> you gotta sing. Excuse me? You look like you got a set of pipes on you. Let's hear you belt one out. Ballad, upbeat number, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Rap. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> if you want me to tell you about Bart, then you'll do it. That's ridiculous. Judging by your reaction, might be therapeutic. <laughs> you got the music in you. Let it out. You can't be serious. Last chance to get what you want. Rap like no one's listening. Although everyone in this place most certainly will be. Or maybe you would rather be fucking with Clint instead. Is that what you want, you piece of shit? Hey, don't tell me you're working with that scum. Whatever deal you two made, he'll cross you. Probably kill you, too. I know. 
He has no poker face, so tell me what I want to know. Then I can be on my way without Clint. He can't fault you for me betraying him. So talk. Fine! <sighs> Your Bobsy twins hired me to make sure they and their kid got to the Colonel safely. Paid well, easy job, really. <laughs> but we ran into a peacekeeper patrol along the way. Nasty bunch. Ugh. Your boys freaked the hell out, worried about the kid, and had me leave them right then and there. I mean, what do I care? They paid up front. All right, then. Tell me where you left them. Okay. There's an old coffee shop not far from here by the off-ramp from the E-12. By a metro stop. <laughs> you can figure it out from there. Bottle smash? You can be dead sure Frank's in the canteen. Frank's calling.
Signs of a fight. Recent, too. Very recent. And the weapon broke. Looks familiar. Get moving. My old command never sends us inside those GRE labs. Everybody knows they're hell holes. to face this, or are you a coward? 
check this shit out. Someone give me a hand over here. I'll drink you under Think you're the clever, table. Huh? Folks that made me live.
What do you want? Whoa, calm down. I'm just here to talk. You look familiar. You Bart? Yeah. You're eight. Demire sent you. Yeah, she told me to find you and get back what you stole. But I talked to Stach and more than a few others about you. Maybe think there's more to this situation than meets the eye. Meyer tried, but she couldn't help. I couldn't take it anymore. Day after day. Will you two keep it down? Liam's asleep in the next room. But whatever your personal issues are, desertion and theft are serious. She plans to send her men for you. She'll get a lot of volunteers for the search team. I'll be executed on the spot if they find me. Probably why she sent you. Give me a running start. So, you did steal the map. It isn't a map, per se, but tells the location of some secret PK stash. Weapons, I bet. It's all I can think of to offer in exchange for the Colonel granting safe haven to the three of us. I see. Like hell. People like you never do. You never see. Andy, stay out of this. It's too late for that. You know it. Fuck this map or stash or whatever the fuck it is. The PK are the monsters here. Surely you understand. You'd have taken this from me by now if you didn't. Is that what you think? I do. If you go back to Meyer and tell her you've killed us, I'll give you the coded message. And my dog tags. Do this. Please. Just let us be. I sympathize. But desertion and theft are serious crimes, and I have a job to do. Please. This isn't desertion. This is survival. Not just for me, but Andy and Liam as well. Would you please just help us? None of you deserve this. Least of all, Liam. I'll help you. Oh, thank God. Andy, give Aiden the message and my dog tags. It's okay. If you say so. I had planned on going to the ship's library and finding a book or two that could help me decipher it. But things went south real quick. I didn't have time to check. Maybe I'll check. I'm curious what this is all about. Just don't get caught, or you'll be right behind us. Assuming you don't get caught, He'll never see us again. You're better off not going to the Colonel anyway. You know they call him the Butcher, right? We don't have a choice. What do we could do? We'll stay here for now. Till we figure out what to do next. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. If I could find you here, others could just as easily. You should keep moving. You're right. We gotta keep a low profile in any case. But at least we're alive. And we'll be together. I wish you all luck. Take care. Looks like we got a real party going on here. You're Clint's man, I gather. Yep. He weren't kidding. You're a real bloodhound to track these pervs down like you did. Wait there. I'll handle this. Your work is done here. Just give us the map, and we'll take it to the canteen where Clint's waiting for it. Clint will get the map, but I'll take it to him myself. Just let these people go. We've been through enough. This ain't your concern anymore, and neither are they. So while we're wrapping things up here, you head to the canteen to meet Clint. It's been a pleasure working with you, Aiden. Let's finish this, fellas. Now hold up. 
I told you to let him go. Don't try and stop us. Or that heart of yours will stop beating soon. Oh, we'll see about that. Gonna make sure these people are safe and take this map to Meyer. Fucking animals. Have it your way. Get him, fellas. You're safe. They can't hurt you now. If only that was the last of our worries. Don't talk like that. We're alive, thanks to Aiden. I suppose. What'll happen to us now? One step at a time, Andy. Let's get packing. Quickly. Good idea. You don't want anyone else finding you. Sir! <laughs> 